This year marks 40 years of our Straight from the Heart brand. It's also marking 30 years since the blizzard of 93, an event that blanketed East Tennessee and much of the nation in feet of snow. Now, many of you may not have memories of that weather event, but if you do, you will never forget it. Our 10 News weather team explains. March 10, 1993, East Tennessee enjoyed sunny skies and spring-like weather. Two days later, on March 12th, the snow began to fall. Here's Todd to explain what happened. Let's talk about the storm setup and the track. It actually formed three to five days ahead of time up in Alaska. Then in western Canada, deepening low pressure came barreling down the plains, basically like a bowling ball of energy that just exploded with rapidly deepening low pressure as soon as it hit the Gulf, almost like a, a hurricane tropical system in the winter. Damaging winds, tornadoes in Florida, feet of snow, saw about a foot and a half of snow with drifts to three to four feet across parts of the valley in East Tennessee and over five feet in the mountains. A very impactful storm, one for the ages. The blizzard left folks in a flurry of activity. <laughs> From sledding and tubing to trying their best to drive on the roads. In the Smokies, the National Guard was called to rescue more than 200 hikers while nearly 10 million people lost power. TDOT was working overtime. Harrison Vineyard remembers working till the job was done. Oh, uh, yeah, we had our sign routes and, and it did work. You know, it just took longer. Those TDOT crews had a plan in place. You had to push small amounts. You couldn't, once you got a lane open and trying to get another, when you rolled it over into another lane, you couldn't push a whole line, your, your truck just wasn't strong enough. East Tennessee prepared the best they could, stocking up on supplies and waited it all out. Waited it out indeed. It took some areas up to two weeks for the snow to melt. There were still piles just hanging around. And as we saw, a lot of people without power impacted from this storm. It took weeks, even months to recover.